When you are building your app, you are definitely going to need to fetch data for different services, such as an API, for example, in order to manage it well, right? So today we are going to learn how to use HTTP package for making requests such as post, get, put, delete in Flutter. So if you are ready, let's go. Here we go. So today what we are going to do first of all is to add HTTP package, then create very a basic or stamp UI to display our data. And then we are going to create three different functions. The first one will be to fetch data, which we are going to use get. Um, the second, create data to post our data. And the last or third one will be to delete data with delete, I mean. <laughs> and finally, we are just going to test our app. So yeah, first of all, let's just add HTTP directly on your dependencies, I mean, in your pub spec YAML file. So, and then run Flutter pub get. Um, to do it, this is very simple. So you just need to add or copy paste directly. I mean, this one or maybe the last test version, which is online. So just make sure um, when you are going to watch this video to check the last test version. Then now, um, on this is good. We are going to create a UI to display our data. So um, like you can see, this is very simple UI. So I'm going to change it like bit in order to have like some kind of button. Uh, so let's just create a colon, for example. And inside the colon, I'm going to have um, like, sorry, this is, yeah, great. So we are going to have different kind of children. So let's just add different button and let's call the first one, like we were saying, um, fetch um, data, for example. So these are going to help us. For now, we are just going to create empty function for, and then Let's just try to duplicate. Oh, great. We can see that we have three button just there. So let's just change this one to create data and the last one to delete data, for example. And finally, we can also decide to put all of them in same column in order to have them on same line. Let me just photo load. Yeah, so it's look like this. And now we are going to add space between them. So yeah, that's great. <laughs> and finally, the place where we are going to display our test or maybe the message which we are going to dis um, which we are going to fetch from our API, we are going to display it. Yeah, just there. But let's just wrap it with um, expanded. So it means that if um, tomorrow, for example, we got like uh, a big text, which is returned from our API, we just are going to yeah, let's you can use like um, same I didn't write it when. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is the place where we are going to uh, show our result. I mean, our data. So the API which we are going to use um, is this one. So if I decide just to show you the result of this one, yeah. So this API are going to return us um, this value, for example. So let's just try to create different function and let's just start with fetch data, for example. So we are just going to come there and create fetch data function.
so in this one we are just going to instantiate our url you know right so and then you are going to use http but you can see that http throw you an error so it means that we need to import http first of all so to do that we are just going to import it as well so let just i'm just going to do it like this and add an alias so here now if i put dart he's going to find like get read put delete whatever but we are just going to use the get one for example so we are going to pass the read directly there and we are going to check the response result to make sure that if we got like 2000 it's going to print for example the result i can say success 40 and then just display the result for example And if not, let just print. I'll say that um, fail to fetch dollar. Yeah. So um, we are going to just replace on the first button fetch dollar. It means that when we are going to click on fetch dollar for example this one are going to uh to print us like the result so let me just came there and if i click on fetch data we can see in our console that it return us our data right so for example uh if i just decide to add slash one it's are going to return us the first user so let's check if it's work also in our app so let's just do it like this and if i click on fetch data we can see that it prints in my console right now like data fetch successfully and show the data directly from uh, our api so yeah that is basically what we want so um but how can I do to replace like the text I just put there with the right data I just get from an API? I'm just going to create um, a string just there and call it like data, for example, and it's going to be empty first of all and put my data there. So it means, yeah, I don't have anything there, but now i can use because we are in stateful widget i can just use like set state for example and replace data with response dot body for example and if not uh, i'm just going to do almost the same just there and say yeah it's fail and <laughs> I can't really have my data. So if I hot reload it and I click on fetch data, we are going to have it in our console, but we can see directly now uh, we show the user response, user information. I mean the first one, but if I just replace the ID of the user, for example, if I decide to put, I don't know, a tree inside of, uh, one and i hold to reload it and if i click on fed data it's going to return me like the user with id3 for example you know as we can see so that's great um now we are going to do the same for create data and delete data so i mean this is going to be almost the same so you can just if you want uh, future mean that this assign function so we are going just to copy past it and just use almost the same for create data for example and in our api to create data it is also the same 
just need to copy this variable and for the response it, these are going to be bit um, different when you decide to use post let me show you for the post for example we can say that we need to pass the url and also the body type we want uh, to create as new data for example so we are going to pass the url okay great and now add a body and for the body as we can see we have like title body and user id so i'm just going to add new one with uh, i can just copy this one there and yeah if it's great i'm just inside of throw the data response to i'm just going to say yeah like data um, created successfully you know and if i want i can also show the response from the body just there and just yeah that's great i can remove my point you know a lot of time or usually i just try to use like print to make sure that everything is good also in my console but in our case we are going to use create so let's see if we can create okay he said that our data <laughs> didn't create but let's just make sure that we got oh okay um yeah i think i have an idea how it's not work but let's just do this one i'm going to show you something so let's just display the statue code okay we can see that it is 2001 so um yeah most of time uh different api just if it is successful response you are going to have like 2000 or 2000 um <laughs> i mean 2000 yeah um 200 or 200 y so um we can also try to use this basically just to even if it's already worked and um yeah i think if we just have there and we try now to create data yeah we can see that now it shows us like data created successfully with what we just passed there and if for example i just want to say um hey subscribe and like this video i mean i put it in the title and the body is <laughs> you are a good guy or girl whatever you want and now i decide just to take like this you can see that yeah now we got like new data and he show us like hello subscribe and like this video don't forget very important and you are a good guy nice so we have our query data and now we are going to do the same for delete data as well so let's just copy this one and paste it directly and now we are going to delete data and for delete data these are going to be i mean pretty similar for the get you just need to pass the where you want and just pass the id we want to delete for example so if you want to delete i don't know 101 we are just going to say yeah and if it's good i'm just going to say that i deleted successfully or if not fail to delete data for example and so great now if you try to create new data you know 
the idea he's going to create new one on the right hand we can also delay them and now try to fetch the data or fetch um let me just yeah okay it but as well they just say we want to fetch another one okay great so now we have our app which look like this and i think with that now you can uh, just use like fetch um delete post i mean fetch by get and if you want or so you can also use pull as well it is almost the same so you just need to pass uh, the good data to update your api for example and as a bonus you can also decide um to parse your data in order to have it and to display it well but this one we are going to talk about that in another video thanks for watching this video and i hope to see you to another one thanks bye